Hello legends, it's your boy Link and today we're getting some critters delivered to be the new cleanup crew for my fish tank. Hello my legends, welcome back to the channel, it is your boy Link and today we've got cleanup crew or cuck being delivered, um, which basically is like loads of snails and crabs that are going to eat um detritus and algae and all sorts of stuff i don't want in my fish tank basically um so i thought i'd vlog like the whole day and at the moment you know i went to the shop before i started vlogging actually and got a can of monster because i slept awful last night um so most of you all know i'm on like an antidepressant which i take in the morning one take at night the i forgot the night time one again so it just i didn't sleep well because of it which is stupid, but you know, we we roll on. But um, yeah, basically, I noticed my fish tank had started to get little bits of sort of diatoms appearing. So I decided that we need to basically put something in there to start eating them and start cleaning up. I did dose the tank with coca pods, which is why I think I haven't had like a big explosion in the ugly stage. Um, but yeah, they're getting delivered today, so I'm sort of like up early, sat in the living room waiting because it, like it's cold outside. I don't want my stands and stuff to get delivered, and then just left on the doorstep or thrown over the fence. You know, which lots of parcel companies do, don't they? You know, they throw it over your fence, and like sometimes it's made of glass, <laughs> and um, it's a disaster. But we have got some other parcels coming, so we'll see what happens. You know, it could be an interesting day, hopefully for you guys. At the minute, I'm just chilling. Um, the fish tank light isn't on yet. So I'll show you the diet and stuff when the lights come on. And talking of the lights, I now have um, these little Tapo smart plugs from Tapo. Is it Tapo? I think not Tapo. Tapo? Because it's like tap. I don't know. Let me know how you pronounce it if anyone knows in the comments. But um, I've got these like two like Tapo Wi-Fi smart plugs that basically, you know, you can turn the lights and stuff on and off on your phone. You can also set timers. So like instead of them old horrible timers that go like to turn your lights and stuff on. Um I've got Wi Fi ones now that just turn them on, so that's really good. Um I'll put a link to them in the description to get them on Amazon if anyone's interested. If anyone you know and you can't they're not just for fish tank stuff, they're literally for anything. You could use them for like a lamp in your corner, you could use them for uh, Anything you might want to turn on and off, like maybe a fan. Maybe you don't want to get up and turn the fan on when you're hot, you know. Boom, press the button on your phone, the fan starts blowing. Also, like, I think they're really good if your plugs are in, like, awkward places. Like, where my fish tank lights are, you've got to, like, bend over and stretch to reach the plug to turn it on. And if you've got anything like that, which you sometimes have to turn on and off, um... To be able to just press a button on your phone and turn it off, so good. So yeah, that's the sort of latest fish tank updates. Um, we're waiting for snails and crabs. Got like four crabs and then like six, seven snails. I didn't really know how much to buy for an 85 litre tank. I think there's not like... The problem is as well with saltwater aquariums is everyone online has so many different opinions, right? Like some people are like, yeah, you need a snail per gallon. Some people say snail per three gallons. Some people say snail per 10 gallons. And then the problem is as well, is some people give advice in US gallons. Some people give advice in UK gallons. I wish the world would switch to litres. Um, never thought I'd be an imperialist. I just realised that was really stupid because it wouldn't make me an imperialist, but it would make me a, a metricist. What's that way? Also, I'm watching a bit of Joey DIY. I love this guy. He's called the King of DIY on YouTube, if you want to find him. He used to be called Joey DIY, I'm sure. Um, basically, it's just a guy that has fish tanks. He's got this big, like, aquarium gallery, like, shed full of fish tanks. But he keeps different stuff at different times. But I'm really hooked on his content at the moment because he's been keeping electric eels. Well, an electric eel. And it's just, it's not something that I've ever kept. It's not something I probably ever will keep. So I like to sort of vicariously live through him. And I think that's that's like part of this 
sort of series, I guess we'll call it, where I'm setting up a saltwater aquarium. But lots of people are intimidated by saltwater aquariums. They're scared to do it. They hear it's too hard compared to fresh water. So I'm trying to kind of debunk that and like, you know, just inspire maybe some people to start the hobby or to get back into the hobby. Um, or if not, just inspire people to appreciate how beautiful these reef fish are and hopefully inspire people to think, let's try save our reefs because that would be great too. But yeah, I'm going to go back to watch my video, but I just sort of like every time anything comes past, well, if it looks like I'm not looking at the camera, anytime anything drives past, my brain goes, is that a parcel? Because as well as the crabs um, and the snails, which is one parcel, I have got um, a couple of other parcels coming at some time. Maybe not today, though. So there might be some other cool stuff. If, if anything comes today, I'll open it up on the vlog. But, um, yeah, I'm going to go back to watch my video. I scared them away now, but there were some little cute birds eating in the garden. But I frightened them off, trying to film them. So here is what I mean about the dinos starting to grow on the, the rocks. Um, I did hoover this side of the sand yesterday, so it's quite clean. But if you go over this side, you can see like some little spots. I always recommend it. When you hoover your sand, don't hoover the whole thing. Because there's a lot of beneficial bacteria and stuff. So you don't want to kill all of it. So I normally do like a third at a time. That's my advice anyway. But this rock's not as bad. But this one, yeah, it's starting to sort of pick up more and more and more. Um, so hopefully the snails will keep that at bay. But the clownfish are quite happy to do well. We still haven't named them though, guys. You need to come up with name ideas. Comment down below with what we should call the clownfish. I need good ideas. Also, the clownfish wouldn't... There they are. The clownfish wouldn't eat um, these pellets. I've got the medium pellets a bit big for them, so... I just put them in a bag with some flakes and basically smashed it about with a rolling pin. So um, it's just more manageable pieces for me, but let's feed them. Here are fishy fishies. They should come flying over. Probably overfed them a little bit there, but you can see them munching away at the back. How cute is that? But this is what I need the crabs for, is these little bits that they just ignore that end up on the sand bed. Okay. So we have crabs, guys. And snails. It says live fish on there, but I didn't order any fish. They're inside a polywax inside, which is kind of what you expect. Okay. So yeah, they're in a polywax, which is tightly sealed. Oh, I like this. We've got some free sweets. That's not my address on, so I can't really show you that, but I've got some free sweets. And then in here we have snails, I think. Yeah, they're snails. Then we have double bag. There's nothing in there. What? Oh, the snail's gone up the top. I don't think you see that, but there's like a stripy snail at the top. So we've got snails and crabs today. Then this is a trochus snail. I know what them ones are. They're like your big algae eater ones. And then this is finally the crack. I didn't do them last on purpose. They're walking around, so hopefully everything's alive. That's a good sign. So these are the sweets, just because it was next to my address, so I might have had to have edited it out. And it also come with a heat pack, which is quite good just for a few snails and stuff, which are floating now. It's quite good they actually put a heat pack in, because I know some places only do that for fish or like expensive corals. So it's good to know they do that at Reef Aquatics. So another thing I'm quite excited about is the trochus all have loads of coralline algae on. So at the moment, obviously, you've seen I've got diatoms. This one's purple, but this is caribou sea life rock, so it's like 
it's like paint, I guess, or some sort of dye that's aquarium safe. So it isn't actual coralline. I don't have any coralline growing in my tank just yet. So hopefully this will be the dawn of it. Also, guys, another thing I just noticed is that the bags are like clipped together with these metal things. So they can clearly tell if you opened the bag because they refund dead on arrival. They don't refund stuff that dies once it goes in your tank because something in your tank could kill it, maybe. So yeah, it's a weird way for them to do it. And it means you can't reuse the bags, I don't think, so that sucks. So I thought if I could get to the inside bag, I might be able to use the inside bag, but that's got one of them tags on as well. It's definitely the best view of the Trochus we've had so far. All right, I turn them around. They all seem relatively happy. Tentacles out, moving around, it looks good. Here's a better look at the bumblebees now. So I've only got one of these. Um, these can be like carnivorous and eat like little things in your tank. I wasn't sure how big they were gonna be. If I knew they were gonna be this one, I've already got more. Um, but he's not small enough to start eating other sort of snails and crabs and stuff, I don't think. So what I'm doing now is just adding all the fish, not the fish, the snails to a measuring jug. And then I can trip acclimate some of my water in there so they can get used to it. So what they're floating in now, I've put them all in the jug, I've changed the water several times, so now it's all my tank water. So I should just now be able to just tip them in. They don't want to come out. Tip it again. Maybe try that. Look this little guy. Trying to turn himself back up. Come on little chokers, you can do it. Okay, I've landed most of them upside down. That's definitely not the way to do it. Some people like to put them with their hands, but um, I'm a bit nervous for that sort of thing. Also, is this one like iffy? Doesn't seem it's moving that much compared to the others. I am a big believer in like natural selection in aquariums, but I'm gonna help these guys out a little bit. He's okay. Just... I don't know if I'm making it better or worse for them. Like those guys are like finding gaps already. Look at this guy go. He ain't playing. He's getting straight to work, this little choke is here. And these two are just buddies now. I think. Nice to see some mixed size as well. And now you just literally repeat that same process for the crabs. Um, I float the crabs for longer and I'll drip the acclimation a bit slower because in my experience, crabs can be fussier than snails. Um, that might just be my experience, they might be the same, but I also like to do crabs separate to snails because I don't like to basically put the crabs in with the snails because crabs can kill snails. They all seem like they're out and happy ish but like that one's like borrowing already like look but it's just gonna make the tank more interesting we've only got two clowns so having these like seven snails four crabs there's just be a lot more movement and a lot more stuff going on inside the tank hopefully this guy looks like he's trying to flip over but he can't so let's just try and help nature along i think it's because there's a guy on his back get off I don't know how well I filmed that, because uh, like there's a guy stuck to his back. And I think that's stopping him from being able to move. The bumblebee is now moving fine. This choke has kind of settled over here, he seems happy. The Nasarius has all, all started disappearing off into the sand bed, which is what you want. Um, but yeah, I just feel about that guy. Like, let go. Like, let go of him. You know? Like... Look how sucky he is to not let go. Like, he just won't let go. They're friends, but it's a bit weird. As I added the snails to that rock rock, they're still hanging out with each other. It's like five minutes later. They're still in the same place, just cuddling. Um, Bumblebee likes it down here. This trochus has ended up tits up somehow. Hopefully he can turn back around. He's got some sand in him. Look at that. Look, he's cleaning the sand already. But the crabs are ready. 
So I'm gonna gently try and tip them more into this section of rock. So they can kind of find their way from there. He is upside down. That was not the plan. So is he. But yeah, I feel like if I put these in here, they're away from where they release the snails. So they hopefully won't bother each other. Oh, look, you see the serious like, popping up? You see his little horn? He's like a little nose. You see it? Just to the left of the rock, there's like a little stalk. That is the Nasarius snail's weird kind of eyes. And also the the crabs are getting they're getting moving. So that's a good sign. So everything is starting to settle in now. The clownfish have not battered an eyelid. And I mean that. Right, well, it's like they don't even know these things have been added. Um this is the guy that kept flipping over, he seems fine now. These guys haven't moved a lot since I put them next to each other. Hopefully they're okay. If not, hopefully their shells at least add some nice algae to my tank. And then the hermit crabs, look at this little guy. Can we focus on you? There we go. Look at him. Clean my sound already like a G. And you can see the other three in the background. Getting ready, getting used to the tank. We can climb. Look at my go go. Yes, little Mr. Krabs. Look at this little guy, he started digging. You see him moving the sound already. It's quite fascinating to watch, like, just their different behaviours, because the different snails are all acting different, like. There's that little guy, he's buried under the sand there. You can only see his nose. Bumblebee's just chilling there. And then the trochus just quite lazy. Also, I will mention, a lot of invertebrates are more active at night. They're kind of like scavengers, so they're often more nighttime sort of active and obviously they've just been introduced as well so it'll be interesting to see how they act over time but hopefully they'll sort this sand out and this rock i think these two have become buddies look this little crab and this little trochus i went for the blue legs helmet crab just so i thought it adds another color to the tank rather than red i'm not sure if this is still friendly actually What am I supposed to do? Like, leave them to it? Or am I supposed to help them out? Okay, they're like both upside down. Now, look at this. Does anyone know what they're doing? Let me know in the comments if you guys have got experience with these things. Am I worried about nothing? Or am I supposed to intervene in that? It looks like they're trying to eat each other, but I don't know who's trying to eat who. Or are they just cleaning each other's shells? I honestly have no idea. So they are both still alive. Like, I do see, keep seeing them both move. So are they, like, symbiotically cleaning each other? Or what's going on? I don't know if they're touching I honestly have no clue, really. I'm going to Google it. But so far, I haven't found any good evidence. Like, the home, he's picked up, like, the back of the home shell. Maybe he's just trying to, like, find rock. Maybe I should move him. Um, looking online, it looks like the home is more of a risk to the snail than the other way around. Is he getting off now? Is he pulling away? Let go of him. I don't know what to do. I'm going to try and intervene more than that. And just try and... Just open up a gap between them. And let him go. Let him go. Up like Molly Weasley, like, not my hermit crab, you bitch. I don't even know if I'm filming this very well. I'm really sorry if I'm not. So, I'm fucking, I'm gonna end up killing both of them, and I, I need to just leave them to let nature take over, I think. Just let go of him. You wanna let go? I'm trying to give him something more interesting. To to latch onto in the rock, but I just can't get a hold. Maybe I should do it with my fingers as much as I don't want to. Like, yeah, get in there. Look, there we go. This might be the solution. Putting them both there. Hopefully, he's going to find other rock that he can grip onto and let go of him. But literally, I've had to come in and save him about four times now. I can't keep doing that, so I guess I just need to let nature take his call. He has started to let go of him now, I've done that.
success look they've completely separated the crabs aren't going to hide in all the rocks um two of the other crabs have already done that like this one's still down here but he has been moving about look like he's okay but hopefully that one he seems like quite an active one hopefully he's going to get on rocks and get clean them that's what i bought you for bro do your job or i'll get roy Keane. next but watching this because these guys don't look like they've got the same kind of stripes as that guy. I know there's a lot of algae on top to tell. But he seems like way more active. And they seem a lot more lazy. And he seems to be like more all over the place. Let me know. It's a horrible, miserable, rainy day. Um, I'm just popping to the village shop to get some lunch because I'm starving. And also, after the stress and the effort of sorting the crabs and that out, I just don't have any energy to mess about so walk to the shop get a soft scroll or something job done while i have my lunch sorry for the awful light i'm watching my boy ethan stream um loads of you will know ethan from the live chat on my channel he started streaming on twitch his twitch is it's with a z ignite underscore ethan um, i've linked him on not my discord and stuff so go check our boy out because he supports the channel in a lot of ways so let's support him too there's new walkers max um pepperoni pizza ones um, a pepperoni feast from Pizza Hut, so let's get these on the go. Give one of these a try, a little review on the vlog. Mmm, they're good. Tastes like pizza, nice, thick, crisp. I'm gonna give them a 7 out of 10. They're not like amazing, but they are decent. I'm going to enjoy them, but also 125 for that size bag, steep. Very excited to come back and look at my tank craft. I played FIFA for a couple of hours. Um, I still haven't managed to qualify for weekend league in this this season yet. So we've got a hammer crab there. That snail hasn't moved a lot. Um, nor is the bumble we on. There's a hammer crab there. And um, this guy's been everywhere. He's been busy. But this guy keeps falling over. And it's like, do I keep saving him? Or what do I do? Let me know in the comments. Just thought I'd give you one little sort of tank update. The trochus is like moving around. That Nasarius has come out and gone back in. This Nasarius keeps putting itself on its back. And then not tipping over, which is really annoying. Little hermit crab happy there. Other one's happy there. I think at least a little bumblebee is now chilling there, but... All the cleanup crew looks happy, so that's good. So it's a few hours on from adding the shrimp. The shrimp, we didn't get shrimp yet. We only got crabs. You didn't miss something. Um, what's this movie, A Quiet Place tonight? It's got um, John Krasnicki, the guy from The Office, Two Plays Jim. Um, he directs it as well, but it's a really good film. It's basically about these creatures that kill you if you make a noise, but they're like blind. So they can only hear you if you make a noise. So it's quite an interesting film. But I thought I'd carry on vlogging till tomorrow because we can check out what the snails and the crabs are doing in the morning. So I'll see you in the morning. So it's the next morning and um, it looks kind of good, I think. There's no lights on yet, but there's still quite a lot of light. So the bumblebee guys don't move much. That Nasarius guy was out last night. The hermit crabs are so busy. They're way more active than the snails, way more fun to watch as well. There's another hermit crab there in the middle. Um, these two trochus seem really lazy. But then there's a third one that keeps disappearing. I'm trying to see if I can see him around the back. Um, there's a third one which is just so busy that he's like moving all the time. And this little guy has been absolutely on one this morning. He's been everywhere. But yeah, these chokers just don't really move a lot. It's a bit weird. Also, I honestly don't think the rocks are any cleaner. Not to like the naked eye, at least. So, um... They've only been in for, what? 15... No, I guess they've nearly been for 24 hours, actually. About 20 hours. So... It's interesting. But I guess you don't want... You don't want a position where there's not like an equilibrium, so you basically want there to be enough algae generated that these guys don't starve. 
we're not those guys because they don't really eat our green water, this guy and this guy. But you want enough eating going on that it doesn't look ugly. So while I'm waiting for the aquarium lights to come on, I have a parcel from Boys Get Sad 2. It's basically a clothing brand where they donate some of the profits to Calm, which is the campaign against living miserably, which is a mental health charity that sort of focuses a lot on men's mental health. And I just think it's a great cause. And I think the clothes are dope. So let's see what I got. So we have the OG, just boys get sad too, logo in pink. Really nice thick hoodie. And then on the back it just says, boys get sad too about a million times. And then we also have the flower. Boys get sad too, XXXL. No, XXXL is 3XL. Weird how they've done an X and an XXL sticker, which you um, But yeah, 3XL. Sizing is generous on that. Look at that. But that's going to be a nice, comfy hoodie for winter. But boys get sad too. The idea is it's not just sort of girls that get sad, boys get sad too. So it's a cool campaign. And yeah, I thought I'd get behind it. So I've tried it on, it's super comfy, and yeah, I think it looks dope. So the lights are on now, which you might have noticed in the last clips, but um, it looks like everything's turned pink, it's just my reflection in this pink hoodie. But yeah, all the, the clean-up crew are settling in, and, and I'll keep you updated in the, the vlogs in the next upcoming videos how clean they keep it. So that brings me to the end of the video, thank you so much for watching, I hope you've enjoyed me getting clean up crew and i tried to kind of vlog as well because i haven't done a vlog for a few days well a few like weeks that hasn't been an interesting sound one so um i thought you'd enjoy that i don't know what the next content is but halloween's coming up so there'll definitely be some more spooky stuff this month so um get subscribed and you won't miss all the exciting content that's coming up real soon all there is left to say is i've been link you be my legends. Thank you for watching this, and I'll see you all real soon. Thanks so much for watching today, guys. If you've enjoyed that, you can click up here, and you can watch another video of mine. Or if you really love it, if you really, really love it, or even if you just like it a little bit, go down here and subscribe to the channel. It means you'll never, ever miss what is coming up real soon.